But I think for a lot of people around here, right, there's this idea that the Labour Party not only doesn't like its country, it actively hates it. It sneers at those who quite like the flag. It sneers that, at those that, that, whose values... Sorry, that is going way over the top. No, no I'm, political I'm afraid to say that's what people hates believe. Its that's own what people what's the evidence for this? What's the, the evidence? Ev or is it just another piece of disinformation from the Donald Trump-loving uh, turning point? The, ter I'm What's not involved evidence? with turning well, points, well, so I don't right, know where that's come yeah, from, Paul. It just shows you've got your facts right. No, what? What is the evidence? What is the, the evidence? evidence is that you you all sneer at the whenever no, we fly our flag. Name. Give us a name. Give it Give momentum. Name. Do it all the time. Sneering at the flag, and you're heavily involved with that lot, aren't you? I, More I commie than Corbyn. Member. What? Say again, please. More commie than Corbyn. <laughs> What's that mean? What, what does that mean? What does it mean that I spread disinformation in a Trumpian way? These things are well, you just did it again. and nonsense. Um, so, so look, give me the name of somebody in the Labour Party with authority who has in any way sneered at the flag of the United Kingdom. Well, now with uh, with authority, look, you had the for MP for Bright in Brighton, I can't remember the name of the constituency, who, when Keir Starmer had the Union Jack behind him, sneered at the fact that he was doing that. That's seen as the Labour leadership, it's seen as pandering to uh, jingoistic tendencies through up and down the country. This is nonsense. When Robert by, Jenrick by had the monarch behind him, there were, of course, Labour activists and all the rest of it saying that this is ridiculous. The most popular monarch in goodness only knows how long. Okay. Hold on a minute. You are allowed in this country to be a, a Republican. I am a Republican. Uh, right, I, I didn't I, say I'm you proud, weren't. No, I am a, pro, I am a proud you know, British citizen, but I wish this country was a republic. But that doesn't mean yeah, I'm but most people disagree with you, though, Paul. That's no, 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 but we're not talking about disagreement. We're talking about sneering. And so the point is, I, it's not unpatriotic of me to say I would prefer that we had an elected president rather than Her Majesty of the Queen. It doesn't mean I don't stand up for the national anthem. It doesn't mean that I would anyway sneer at, you know, calling, for example, the royal yacht uh, after the Duke of Edinburgh. I'm in favour of all of that. But so, so what I'm trying to track down is you make an assertion and, it, and it's an assertion that you throw in and they, you, you call us the media class. But, but really, the assertion has no basis in fact, does it? What? Unlike your assertion that the Tories are for the rich, when actually 14 million people voted Tory in 2019. And let me tell you, my this council house that I'm in right now, that my man bought under Margaret Thatcher's right to buy, is not the sign of someone who is for the rich or voting for a party that is for the rich. That okay. was a ridiculous no, thing to say. The party's okay. historically represented big Can, business in Britain. Eh? Right. No and the Labour Party now represents middle class activists like All you, right. Paul. Okay. There we are.